Now we're gonna get into the power rankings for this week ahead of week two games. Starting off with number 32, we've got the Buffalo Bills. They haven't moved anywhere. They're still the worst team in the NFL. It was ugly against the Baltimore Ravens. They stay at number 32. Number 31, the Colts drop a spot because they failed to beat the Cincinnati Bengals. Originally, they were ranked number 30. Couldn't pull off a win, so they dropped to number 31. The Arizona Cardinals, this is a big drop for them. They were ranked number 26, but after that abysmal performance against the Washington Redskins, barely scoring any points against them, they drop to number 30. Next, we got the Cleveland Browns at number 29. They don't move. They stay at 29. A tie is a tie. It's not a win. It's not a loss. But it actually is a big moral victory for the Browns moving forward. At 28, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who would have expected that they would pull off the upset against the New Orleans Saints? They go up three spots. 27, the Oakland Raiders. Not a lot is going for them. They drop a couple spots after that ugly loss to the LA Rams. 26, the Miami Dolphins, up two spots after a big win against the Tennessee Titans. 25, the New York Jets, Sam Donald looking like a seasoned pro in his debut, upsetting the Detroit Lions. 24, the Chicago Bears drop a spot after giving up that lead that that could have easily won them the game. It's not so much that they dropped a spot because of the strength of the opponent, because we know the Green Bay Packers are a tough team to beat. But giving up a lead that big, that's why I dropped them a spot. 23, the Dallas Cowboys. They dropped significantly, not because the Carolina Panthers were the team that they lost to, because the Panthers are a tough team, but just the performance that they had, it was terrible on offense. And they've got to get a lot of things going for them on offense if they want to move on up to the top 20. On 22, we've got the Denver Broncos. Up two spots after upsetting the Seattle Seahawks. They go up to number 22. 21, the San Francisco 49ers drop a couple spots after losing to the Minnesota Vikings. 20, the Tennessee Titans drop four spots. This is big because, again, it's not based off of the strength of the opponent because the Miami Dolphins are ranked lower in the power rankings, actually, than Tennessee Titans. But because of their offense not clicking, not getting anything done, um, they drop a few spots because of that. At 19, the Cincinnati Bengals. Like we've been saying, the Bengals are a better team than you think. Up three spots after beating the Colts. The New York Giants come in at number 18. Drop a spot after losing to the Jacksonville Jaguars. 17, the Washington Redskins. Up four spots. This is a big jump for them because they looked great on offense on defense. Granted, it was against the Cardinals, but they looked great last week. 16, we've got the Seattle Seahawks drop a spot after losing to the Denver Broncos. 15, the Detroit Lions 48-17 loss against the New York Jets is going to drop you in the power rankings. 14, the Chiefs move on up. Four spots into the top 15 after the Patrick Mahomes show and Tyreek Hill did their work against the LA Chargers. 13, the Houston Texans an ugly loss against the, uh, the New England Patriots. Granted, it is, it is the Patriots, but they drop a spot because they lost. 12, the LA Chargers drop a couple spots because they lost to a team that was ranked lower to them in the power rankings, the Kansas City Chiefs. 11, the Atlanta Falcons. I had to drop them down three spots, had to get them out of the top 10 because this past week against the defending Super Bowl champions, You would expect their offense to click a little bit more, even against a tough defense like the Eagles, but nothing clicked for them. It was just Julio Jones and their offense, so that's why they drop three spots. 10, the Baltimore Ravens move on up to the number 10 spot in the top 10 after that demanding victory against the Buffalo Bills. At 9, the Panthers move up a couple spots after beating the Dallas Cowboys. At 8, Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers move on up one spot after that comeback against the Chicago Bears. At seven, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they stay. They don't move a spot. They don't move up. They don't move down. A tie is a tie. Six, the New Orleans Saints. Drop them out of the top five. They were originally number four, but I dropped them down to number six because of that loss against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Number five, moving on up to the top five is the Jaguars. They move on up one spot. Four, the Minnesota Vikings, after a win. They were number five last week. They move on up to number four. 
Number three, the LA Rams, demanding victory against the Oakland Raiders. Number two, the New England Patriots, won against the Houston Texans. And number one, and number one, the Philadelphia Eagles. Listen, like we've been saying this whole time, to be the man, you've got to beat the man. And until someone beats the man, the defending Super Bowl champions, the Philadelphia Eagles, are number one in our power rankings.